Hi, my name is Barbara Twine Thomas and I'm a circuit court judge here in Hillsborough County. I have been in the legal profession for the last 40 years. And even before I was a lawyer, I was a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Soror Incorporated uh, starting 45 years ago. Uh, our motto is service to all mankind. We're international, we have more than 200,000 members and it is one of the most important things in my life. Um, my church has a theme that says, if you want uh, justice, work for peace. And so those two things together sort of define who I am. Uh, I have done countless service projects with my sorority over the years. And one of the most recent projects has been what we call the Little Dresses for Africa project. And we were each requested as members of the organizations, as chapters across the globe, uh, to make dresses in preparation for attendance at our annual national conference in Atlanta, Georgia in July of this year. And so I chaired the event on behalf of the local chapter here in Tampa, Florida, that is Gamma Theta Omega chapter. And in doing so, we were allowed to partner with other organizations and other individuals. We were allowed to create sewing circles. So for several successive weeks, we met weekly and sewed together. And as we sewed, we talked about our lives, our friendships, our relationships, and slowly the enthusiasm about what we were doing, making dresses for little girls on the other side of the earth, was so in motivating and eventually it was infectious. Everybody around us, everybody who heard about the project wanted to be a part. One of our members had her coworkers um, work with us. The chief of police for the city of Tampa actually himself invited the Department of Police to sew with us. He made physically him dress himself four dresses. And in, in addition to that, other people on the force uh, made dresses. Uh, it has been uh, one of the most valuable service projects that I've been engaged in. And uh, in talking with uh, Eula Bacon, who's a, a student at Cooley Law School, um, she shared my enthusiasm instantly and offered to help. And got some people in her community near Sarasota to sew here, two of the dresses here. And uh, sometimes the project is referred to as the pillowcase dress project because we basically start with different sizes of pillowcases and within about 30 minutes can convert them to a dress of this similar style. Some people call it a sundress, but basically we take a part of this uh, pillowcase, open it up, create uh, sleeves, elastic in the top, decorations on the bottom, and make a dress for girls. And, we hope that these dresses that we've made, we made some smaller sizes for younger girls. We made some larger sizes for adolescent girls and girls in between. Uh, we made more than 34,000 dresses in total. Our chapter here in Tampa made almost 1,943 dresses uh, with the help of people from the community such as Eula Bacon, her friend in Sarasota, uh, church sewing circles, and other people who joined in. And so, you know, I do a lot of things here at the court. Currently, I work with children. But in my life, touching children and families, uh, to me, has been so important to what I've always worked for. And so, I, I will probably never meet one of the little girls who will wear one of the dresses. But the ability to touch someone's life in a meaningful way, to let them know that there are people who care about them and who are invested in their success and their interest uh, is important to me. Um, I'm a member of a lot of women's organizations and I believe in empowering women. When you empower women, you empower humanity.